on Defense Minister Matno Harperikar's first official visit to the United States from December 7 to 10. Washington has signaled its willingness to co-develop with India an aircraft engine for India's indigenous fifth-generation fighter that is called the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft AMCA. India's Defence R&D organisation ERVO believes it essential to work with US company General Electric Aviation G in upgrading its F-414 S-6 engine into the so-called F-414 enhanced engine, which would power the futuristic AMCA as Business Standard reported earlier June 1st. Carter to face Indian demand for engine technology GE has been eager to partner DRVO in this lucrative project. But the U.S. government had earlier stood in the way, reluctant to transfer to India strategic technologies, such as the high melting point alloys needed to build the gas turbine. During Parker's visit, Washington signaled that it has changed its mind. Secretary of Defense Ashton Carter informed Minister Parker that in light of the strengthening relationship between the United States and India, the U.S. Department of Defense has updated its policy on gas turbine engine technology transfer to India. As a result of this policy update, the Secretary is confident that the United States will be able to expand cooperation in production and design of jet engine components, says the joint statement issued on Friday by the Indian Embassy in Washington. That opens the doors for GE and DRVO to work together in upgrading the F-414 S-6 engine which India has already selected for the indigenous Tejas Mark II. This will enhance the current engine's peak power of 90 kN and delivering 110 kN of thrust. The Amca's twin F-414 enhanced engine will thus deliver an awesome 220 km of peak power. The green signal for co-developing this engine appears to have been given, with the joint statement saying, Secretary Carter and Minister Parker look forward to U.S. companies working with their Indian counterparts to submit transfer requests that will benefit from this updated policy. For GE, this could be a commercial windfall providing it an assured market for all India's indigenous fighters. This would include 100 F-400 for engines for the Tejas Mark I, another 100 F-414 engines for the Tejas Mark II, and 400 F-414 enhanced engines for a planned 200 AMCA. Since an aero engine's life is about 1,500 hours, each fighter with a service life of 5,000 to 6,000 hours, consumes 3.5 engines. That means GE could be supplying 700 engines for the Tejas Marks 1 and 2, and 1,400 engines for the AMC over their service lives. This is a sizable share of the Indian aero engine market which the DRVO estimates to be worth 350,000 crore over coming decades. Given this massive requirement, India put jet engine technology, along with aircraft carrier design, at the core of its high technology expectations from Washington. The joint statement issued on January 22, after President Barack Obama met Prime Minister Narendra Modi in Delhi, agreed to form a working group to explore aircraft carrier technology sharing and design, and explore possible cooperation on development of jet engine technology.